Howdy, this is Inhamsky123, and this is uh, yet another get home bag video. So, to start it off, the Ruck, it's a Kelty Red Wing 50. We got a Cat 7 tourniquet on the hip belt, and we got a uh, GSI stainless steel cup. We got a 3 liter Geiger rig pressurized water bladder right here. You squeeze this, and it pressurizes it so. You're not trying to suck down water while you're breathing and gasping for your breath. Uh, Lickies and Chewies slash Chow. We got two of these bad Larry's. 2400 calorie emergency food ration bars. They taste like dog crap, but it's 2400 calories, so that's, you know, think about it, that's a day. You mix it up in that, that uh, GSI cup. And you can make some, some porridge, oatmeal type crap. Uh, we got Mountain Ops protein bars, uh, triple chocolate mudslide. Mountain Ops makes good stuff. And we got three of those little pinch mango uh, tea drink packets because they got caffeine in them. And uh, that's probably a good thing to have if you need to stay awake. So from there, we got our uh, Petzl Tactica 3 Plus and a set of extra batteries. Uh, it's a red and white flash uh, headlamp. We got an NOAA radio. Listening to the weather while we're out meandering through the woods. We got a Aquamira backcountry inline water filter. Um, just goes in line with the water bladder. These are go pills. They're performance inspired energy pills. Basically just a whole bunch of vitamins and caffeine to keep you going. In the event you need to stay awake. We've got uh, pure gum, xylitol, or however you say that. Oh, yeah, xylitol gum. Um, basically it's just really strong, it keeps me awake. We got a Leatherman Sidekick. We like Leatherman Sidekicks because they're spring loaded. It's good for one-handed stuff. We got an electrical tape mini bic. Uh, when you're doing this, be careful because you can push the gas button down and you'll run it out. Ask me how I know. We got electrical tape for electrical taping things. And we got a big fang battery and a little fang battery. We got a big fang <coughs> USB battery charger. Plugs right into the side of this bad Larry right here. And then for clothing, we've got merino wool, uh, long johns, top and bottom, grid fleece, Russian, top and bottom, and a duck camp uh, bamboo hoodie uh, that's camouflage up top, or you can flip it inside out and you got like an off white that would blend in fairly well into a snowy, muddy environment like it often gets out here in the Midwest. We've got an Eddie Bauer puffy jacket that tucks into its own pocket which is pretty handy we got oh we got we did have two pairs of socks and underwear but I took a set out because I ran short on one of my trips <clears throat> 100 feet of paracord because you never know we got these GI gloves that I love a lot uh, intermediate cold flyers glove these things are baller if you see them for less than $15 a pair, buy them, because they're they're good, I like them. They're not the most durable gloves, but they are very warm. And you still have quite a bit of dexterity. Sleeping, we got the Snug Pack Stasha. It's a 96 by 64 inch uh, tarp, slash ground cloth, slash I'm cold, wrap it around me. We got a Paratech sleeping bag liner. Sleeping bag liner, it's, it adds like 10 or 20 degrees to your sleeping bag if you got one. We got an emergency blanket, and that stays in the top pouch, so if I fall into a lake or it rains and it's cold outside, I can wrap this around me and then wrap that uh, Stasha tarp around me and hopefully stay warm. We got a climate sleeping pad. I've used this only one time, so I usually just sit in the dirt because grunt things. Um, or I use a hammock. I, I do use a hammock from time to time. Um, it's pretty decent. I think it was like 50 bucks. 
decent price for sure. Uh, I got a ruck cover for the ruck. It's coyote because coyote everything. And then we got a Blackhawk Omnivore, which is not the greatest holster in the world. However, it indexes on that light. So if my CZ P10C went down for whatever reason, I can pick up a Glock or a Smith & Wesson or whatever, throw that Surefire on there, and I got a holster for it. Because a lot of guys use crappy holsters, and I don't want to have to pick one up and be hosed. So we got the chest rig for chest rig, chest rigging. We got a bench made up here. It's not used very much because it was really expensive and like I only use it if I need to. 99.9% .9 of the time I got the old Milwaukee fastback um, folder on me so I don't really need the fixed blade unless I'm, I gotta poke something. Uh, we got eight mags, two, four, six, eight. 30 rounders, we've got 17 round CZ mags, tourniquet, E-tape, bow fang with big battery on it, and uh, a PTT system that works with just regular headphones, uh, which I have with me in my pickup pretty much always. And then we got a cattail antenna, shout out Will, um, threw a bunch of slaps in the old sticker bag. So that was pretty cool of him. And then in these two side pockets here, we have Central United States regional map, Garmin, inReach. You can text through the satellites on this thing. It's pretty baller. <clears throat> it costs 15 bucks a month. We got a camouflage poncho, real tree. We got a handful of chem lights for chem light reasons. We got a net gator because you always want to look cool. We got a little bit of redundancy here with the lighted beanie. We got fire stuff. This has uh, fatwood shavings and the uh, Exotac. Exotac? Ex Exotac? Exotac. Um, fire lint crap that works really good. We got the uh, Nano Spark from Exotac, which, yeah, there it goes, and it carries one tinder stick inside there, so this is all waterproofed. We got a four hour candle, we got a Bic, we got a survival blanket, we got water purification, and we got heavy duty zip ties for flexi cuffs or gear repairs. So, that covers everything that goes in that uh, that Kelty Red Wing 50. Let me know what you think. I know I need to add medical. Uh, medical is really expensive, and I figure that if I'm 300 miles from home and I catch a round through the leg or the arm, probably going down. The tourniquets are literally just there, so I have time to win the fight <laughs> before it's my time to go. Um, and realistically, I could use this bag, I could use this wrapper, I could use this vinyl and electrical tape to make an impromptu occlusive dressing if I really, really had to. But ideally, we just don't get shot. Uh, the, the pistol I'm running for this uh, in my truck is a 12 and a half inch BCM upper on an arrow lower with a SB, SBA4 uh, pistol brace, we got a TACCON 3MR uh, assisted reset trigger, um, Radian enhanced bolt carrier group, Radian charging handle, and a Streamlight TLR something or other for the uh, the weapon light. And then up top we got a Hollow Sun solar powered uh, red dot and a primary arms magnifier because I cheaped out on optics. I know. The rest of the gun's pretty solid and then I cheaped out on the optics. It is what it is. I've got a, a one through six I'm gonna throw on it that's on a twenty inch upper right now. Um but we'll get there. So let me know what you think. Um and uh thanks for watching. Have a good one.